Harvey Specter. David Fox, to what do I owe the, what's the opposite of pleasure? I'm here because of this. It's a deal, it just needs a little taken care of. In that case, just go ahead and throw it in the trash because I don't work for you and I'm never going to. Uh, I don't think you understand. I'm not asking, I'm assigning. This is part of our deal. I don't have any deal with you. She didn't tell you, did she? Who didn't tell me what? Donna, we made a deal where you're my lawyer. I'm holding you both to it. And if you got a problem with that, take it up with her. Morning, Harvey. What can I do for you? You can tell me David Fox isn't my client. I'm sorry, I can't do that because he is. For a year, free of charge. How is that possible? It's possible because you empowered me to negotiate with him and that's what it took to get it done. And when were you gonna tell me about this brilliant idea of yours? Well, I already did tell you when I added him to your updated client roster. You know damn well I don't read my updated client roster. Okay, you got me. I just wanted to see the look on your face when he came to you and you realized you didn't have a choice. And there it is. You think this is funny? No, Harvey, I don't. And the real reason I didn't tell you is because I knew you'd react like a child. But I made a deal that you gave me the authority to make because you knew you couldn't come to one yourself. So whatever it is you're feeling, suck it up, take one for the team, and get this thing done. Okay, David, what exactly is it that you want? Because you certainly don't need me to hold your hand while you buy a building. I do if that building's owner is my biggest rival. And because that owner knows what an asshole you are, you need to make sure he doesn't know you're the one doing the buying. See, this is why I'm paying you the big bucks. Oh wait, I'm not paying you anything. Just so we're clear, you get one of those. Because I may have to represent you, but I don't have to tolerate your mouth. And just so we're clear, this guy's a douche, not an idiot. He's gonna be looking for me to try to buy that building, so I need you to be smart. And that's the second time you brought this up which makes me wonder if there's something going on here, because hiding a buyer isn't illegal, but it sure as hell can be. The only thing going on here is that John Billups has a piece of candy and I want to take it from him. One other thing, this is my business. So you take this on, you get it done, or you don't take it on at all. A great all respect to walking through my door. No, I know I'm a big deal. Not as big as the deal I'm about to offer you, Mr. Billows. No, I like you already. Then you're really gonna love my client, Santana Developers. They're an up-and-coming real estate firm from the Southwest. And fortunately for you, they've taken an interest in your redevelopment project on Liberty Avenue. Have they now? Well, that's a shame, because it's not for sale. And there's no Southwest firm that I've never heard of. All right, you got me. My clients associated closely with the government of Dubai, a fact they'd rather not announce. And in exchange for that secrecy, they're willing to offer you this. Thank you for your time. John, that's 25% over market value, all cash. And I told you, I'm not selling. Least of all, to David Fox. All right, John. Look. <laughs> All right, look, I'll give you credit. I mean, you do live up to your reputation. Because a fallback straw man is something even I never thought of. And if you really knew my reputation, you'd know a straw man is just my first move. You don't want to see what I'm going to come at you with next. Well, I believe you try to cut off my financing. But my partners are in China. And I've been in bed with them for 10 years. They trust me implicitly. Good day, Mr. Spectre. My regards, David Fox.